Good morning. It has been a super relaxed day around here so far. Um, Elijah and Charity aren't home today, so I only have the three little kids, and it's been really nice so far. I had plans. Um, I had plans just to do some like fun school work with them, like just do like art and um, just coloring and going over our letters and just really easy stuff with the two little ones. Just kind of reminds me of uh, the good old days when I didn't have um, kids in the older grades. You know, school was still just like the preschool type stuff. Um, anyways, but all my big plans, nothing has really happened yet today because I woke up. Um, with a really bad headache, you want to watch something, of course you do. Um, which is not, I wouldn't say it's super uncommon, I do get headaches fairly often, but this one is just, doesn't seem to be going away. I took ibuprofen right when I got up, um, and then usually within like the next hour I'm feeling a lot better, but that was like two hours ago now, and nothing has changed, so I just took a Tylenol, hopefully the two of those working together. and. I can get up off the couch, but I've just been kind of lazy this morning, and the kids are having so much fun just playing and playing. Um, I just went and closed the gate because Wesley kept going upstairs and um, throwing toys down the stairs. So I went and grabbed him and closed the gate so that everybody can stay down here. Zara, remember, see that brush that Wesley has? I thought Mommy told you to put that brush away. And your elastics. Where did your extra elastics go? Oh, they're right there. Okay. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. Hot potato. Pass it on. You are out. What? Why is it me again? How come you've never been out yet? Hot potato. Pass it on. Anytime he can get my phone. You silly goose. It was sitting right down here on the couch beside me. He came running over, <laughs> grabbed it, <laughs> and then ran away as fast as he possibly could. <laughs> Since, yeah, there's no way I can catch him, right? Do you think there's no way mommy can catch you? You think you got away with it? You're so silly. My kids are so good. I just put Wesley down. Well, I put Wesley down for a nap about 45 minutes ago, and I told these guys I'm going to go lay down for a nap. I was just over in the living room, and I took a nice nap. I did wake up a few times from, from raised voices, but it wasn't um, fighting raised voices. It was just... Um, the kids having fun. So they have been doing this for the last 45 minutes. You guys are so good. Did you know that you make me so happy? Yeah, you do. But that nap has definitely been long enough that I need to get Wesley up because I do want him to sleep again. Um, and my headache is slowly disappearing, so that was good. Good morning, baby boy. Is out. <laughs> Wesley. Oh, my goodness. Wesley, that was such a good sleep. Hello, handsome. What's uh oh? What's uh oh? It's time to get up. Come here. I just pulled this out for Wesley. I thought maybe he's big enough for this um, water wow book. Is that fun? Yeah. Are you coloring a picture? <gasps> Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh, yucky. Here, watch. 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 Color. <gasps> oh my. Because Look, it's mine. You're coloring a picture. Don't do it's mine. Good job. We are getting so much snow today. Look at how the van looks. Glad we don't have to go out today. But it's definitely time to light a candle. I've been lighting candles a lot this winter. Um just makes the house so cozy. Come on. Alright. 
Yeah. Well, I just finished a super um, random lunch. I had one piece of pizza we had in the fridge. I had a few um, like mixed a mixed vegetable mix that was left over in the fridge. I had some carrots and hummus, a few cucumber slices. The kids are all having um, noodle soup and there was just a little bit left in the pot so I had the rest of the noodle soup, like super random lunch. And now the kids are sitting here talking about, remember when we had s'mores and I haven't made s'mores in forever. I was thinking back when I last made s'mores and this entire time we've been in this house, we haven't had a microwave. So that's been how long now? Seven months we've been in this house and we haven't had a microwave and I know that I haven't made s'mores since then. Um, which has been a long time. And so anyway, I said, all right, finish up your lunch. I'm gonna make some s'mores. Wesley, you ate your lunch about the best of everybody. You ate so well. Zara, I don't know if you're gonna get a s'more. Simeon, I don't know if you're gonna get a s'more. You've got so much to eat still. I'm gonna have a s'more. So i um, gonna try this in the oven. I know you can also do it like on the stove top. I think it would actually probably work pretty well with this stove too. Um, I'll do it in the oven, uh, hopefully. Hopefully they turn out well. Unfortunately, <laughs> we only have three marshmallows left. Ah, that is disappointing. What did you just say when I said we have three marshmallows? Um, you said, ah. Well, mommy can't have one. Mommy can't have one? Why is mommy the one who can't have one? Let's see Zara and Hey, talk like Simi. a big girl. Let's see Zara and Simi can have one, not mommy. That's not very <laughs> fair. I don't think you deserve one. Okay, you did eat really well, but you still have food. You still have food. My food's all gone. Okay, we have like a whole shelf of like treats and the kids get these treats and then they just don't eat them and like a whole Kit Kat bar, some of the kids' Valentine's treats still, chocolate bar from Charity's birthday. Okay, we won't eat those. Those ones are Charity's. I just have to pull them out. Zara, these are your Smarties from your birthday back in November. <laughs> oh, if we put them away, the kids forget about them. Baba Baba. Um, yeah, one piece of bubble gum left from Christmas. I think that's mine. Okay, is it yours? All right. Anyways, pretty sure we have enough treats to go around. Will you guys have these if I have s'mores? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. He's like, Mom. Okay, you can have a couple of Smarties. There you go. Say thank you, Mommy. Okay. Everyone's pretty happy. I'm gonna have the s'mores. Yes. Okay, it's reading time. Everybody's bringing me a book. Mm -hmm. Mr. Are you a king or a prince? A king. King Simeon, what book have you brought for me to read? You still have chocolate right under your lips oh. there. Um, okay, what's this one called? Pigsty. Pigsty? <laughs> close. It's actually pigsty. But you're close. Zara Noel, are you bringing me a book? Pardon me? Can you go help her? <sighs> she takes forever to pick a book, but she just said that her book is stuck, so. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of reading. It's amazing how quiet the house is today. It's like, I am not used to having only three kids, and it's surprising to me. What is surprising to me is how easy today has, fe has felt only having my three youngest, so. I know that if I only had my three oldest at home, like that would feel kind of easy because I don't have the little ones. But having only my three youngest is easy too. It's just quiet. It's, I don't know, it's kind of kind of nice for a day. Okay, what did you pick? Um, queen um, Zara, are you a queen or a princess? Queen. You're a queen. Okay, show us what book you picked, please. Yeah, I Spy. I Spy. So this has been Zara's new favorite thing is looking at I Spy books, right? Hey, this is my one is this one actually yours? Yeah, well, one okay. No, no, okay. Fine. we can we can pretend it's that it's yours. Is, okay, no, so okay, mine. it doesn't. Really Little Mister Wesley keeps disabling the iPad. Why are you so interested in that? Why do you love that so much? You are getting into so much trouble. Mom, are you pretty silly? Mom is too stuff and pretty handsome. Mom, Look at you, you up there, huh? You're yeah. so handsome. It's so different filming him. Hold on one second. It's so different filming him when so he can see himself yeah. in the viewfinder because he's like, oh, I see myself. I'm going to give big smiles. Yeah, what do you think of my hair? Be Wesley, are you being gentle? 
Are you being gentle? Mom, look. Oh, you're being very nice. I know two stuff. When they went upstairs, much to his surprise, a large pig was sitting on his bed. Pardon me, said Wendell. He shoved some toys into his closet, but the pig didn't seem to mind the mess, and Wendell found that he didn't mind the pig either. He decided to take a break. When Wendell's mother came to look at his room, the pig was hiding, but the mess was still there. She threw up her hands. Okay, Wendell, she said, if you want to live in a pigsty, that's up to you. I feel a little bit like a lazy bum that I haven't gone out and shoveled the driveway yet. <laughs> okay, these guys are watching Moana. Um, look how much snow. I quickly walked outside just to see where all of these like branches were falling from because we had a pretty windy night last night. Look at my footprints. I truly don't feel lazy, but I do feel bad when Andrew works all day and then he has to come home and shovel the driveway. We don't have a snow blower. That's one of the things that we really should get for next winter because we have a pretty big driveway and it is a lot of work to shovel, um, to shovel it. So I think I'm going to Bundle Wesley up, he loves coming outside. I'll bring him out with me and I'll try to shovel at least a little pathway <laughs> so when Andrew gets home with the kids, um, they can make it to the house without trekking through a whole bunch of snow, a foot for sure in some of the drifts, but we'll see how far I get. <laughs> Started a loaf of bread, this should be done soon. Well, I guess we've got 30 minutes left and then um, I'm gonna take that out and make some French toast here for supper. Well, I missed my um, workout this morning, but I would say that shoveling is a pretty um, efficient substitute. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing the state of the life, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.